morning and welcome to our next video um, we are on our way into Spain today so we're crossing the border different border for Portugal than what we came in on aren't we yeah we are aren't we yep because we're in the middle of the country now um, just filled up with diesel 77 euros we we're on half tank anyway weren't we no, 90 euros Na 90 euros a uh, 90 euro 77 pounds sorry <laughs> um, yeah, because we don't know when we're going to hit another petrol station because there don't seem to be many here. And we're on our way to, I think it's called Caceres. <laughs> it's a campsite, camping Caceres, and you have your own private bathroom on your pit. So we're looking forward to that. We're going to spend a couple of days chilling out there, aren't we? Yeah. Do you get a maid as well to wash it down? No, you don't get a maid to wash it down. <laughs> So, if we see anything interesting in route, we'll pick you up, but otherwise we'll see you when we get to Camping Caceres. And I'll let you know what the border's like, because the one on the way here wasn't one. <laughs> no, the one on the border. No, it wasn't, was there? You just went over a big Over bridge. a bridge and you're in Portugal. Yeah, was <laughs> there was like a tourist information thing on your right hand side that you could pull in, but that was all it was. So, yeah, uh, we'll let you know what it's like in the middle of Portugal on the border. <laughs> We are approaching the border, we've got no idea what we're doing, so we shall see. Because we literally just crossed it last time and there was nobody there. I think we've crossed it. It's a cyber entering Spain, so I don't know where it is. Yeah, we've crossed it, according to my map. Crossed it? Yeah. Oh, that was pretty fancy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again. No border crossing, it's just a bridge across a river, that was it. <laughs> so in crossing into Spain, we have gained another hour. So in Portugal it's 12.14, but in Spain it is 1.14. Portugal's the same time as the UK. So... We've lost an hour. We've lo yeah, we'll have lost an hour, sorry. An Not hour, gained an no hour. <laughs> I always get confused with these. Yeah, so uh, we've lost an hour, we're not going to get to the campsite till what, two o'clock? Half two? Something like that. And that's when we set off at ten o'clock in the morning, it's even not done it. <laughs> it's what, quarter past one already? Yeah, quarter past one. Um, but actually to us it's quarter past twelve. <laughs> so it's very confusing. <laughs> It just confuses me, but yeah, it's the same time for you out Spain and France now until we get back to the UK, so it should be all right for a bit. Uh, but it really confused me when we got into Portugal as well. So just to let you know, watch out for that. On our border crossing at the bottom end of Portugal, it has got a big clock that tells you the time. On the, um, bridge. On the bridge, that crossing didn't have any clocks to tell you the time. So yeah, just watch out if you are crossing the border into Portugal. So we rocked up at our campsite, Camping Caceres. This is our pitch. You get little table and chairs and your own private bathroom. I'll show you in that in a bit because I've not brought the key out with me. Little sink to wash the pots, water on the pitch, hose pipe, electric. 10 amp electric, absolutely bang on at the minute, isn't it? It is. So we're gonna go for a little mooch to see what facilities I've got. I think there's a restaurant and we're gonna walk for the laundrette as per usual here's the laundry room five euros for a washer four for a dry it's quite expensive but needs must and it's got a gym with a shower with a shower <laughs> really randomly there <laughs> <laughs> So just through there is reception and the restaurant and out here you've got a terrace and the pool which is obviously shut for the winter and you have a little coffee bar out here as well 
And uh, I think that's short for the winter too. <laughs> Bang off for less than 25 quid a night. Less than 25 quid a night. You've got a little kids soft play thing over there. Um, so we're going to have nose in the restaurant, see the prices, see if we can be lazy tonight. So this is your private bathroom. You've got a shower. A sink and your own toilet. They're not heated but I am assured that the water is hot. A little bit chilly in here at the minute but I'm gonna have a nice long shower. That was a good shower, nice and hot water. Um, warmed up a bit in there and went very steamy and warm but yeah feel loads better. Um, having very short showers for the past 10-11 days. <sighs> Good morning all. It dropped down to minus one last night. There is frost on the floor. Oh, but I'm walking the dogs. <coughs> I think I'm walking them on what would be the tenting field probably in the summer <coughs> because of the block just behind me. Um, I think the plan today is to get the bus and go to the old, it's like an old walled city of Caceres. So we're gonna do that because it looks like the roads are quite busy. So I don't really want to get on the bikes. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we, well, I didn't get up till nine o'clock, and Stephen is just getting up now, and it's nearly ten o'clock. So we had a good lie in. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what's on this field, but Daisy's going bananas. Um, yeah, so we'll get some breakfast and uh, get on the um, out, see if we can find where the bus stop is. Um, apparently, they do fresh bread here, but it's from half past eight, so I have serious doubts there's going to be much left. It got pretty busy late on last night and there are a lot of British people on here. Uh, caravans, motorhomes, vans, loads. So it's obviously, um, <coughs> I think it might be like a halfway point when you get off the ferry because loads came in yesterday. Um, obviously if you're on your way down to Portugal and we're on our opposite direction. So yeah, I'll put you back up in a bit. And the bus. Have to wear masks in Spain. Yeah. He's <laughs> not happy. <laughs> Founded by the ancient Romans, Caceres retains widespread evidence of subsequent occupation by many different cultures. Its old town has a mix of Gothic and Renaissance architecture with cobbled medieval streets, fortified houses and palaces. Casa is also featured in Season 7 of Game of Thrones. It is the moment of Euron Greyjoy's triumphant march with his prisoners towards the Red Fort at King's Landing. This was in fact Caceres. In the 15th century, Caceres witnessed its own real Game of Thrones when Isabella of Castile and Joanna Le Beltrange fought for the crown in the War of the Castilian Succession. This was won by the Catholic Queen. The struggle for power left its mark on the Caceres skyline. In 1476, Isabella ordered the towers of the nobles supporting Le Beltrange to be demolished. To me, um, wherever we go, I there is something that's in scaffolding and covered up. <laughs> there is here as well, <laughs> but it's pretty amazing. Are you bored? Yeah. He doesn't like stuff like this. He's got she's come to Chester. No culture whatsoever. Think she's come to Chester. It is Chester. <laughs> it's not Chester. Come here in the shop. Come in here. What's, the, what, what's wrong with it? It's Chester. It's not Chester. We're in Spain. Yeah, but it's Chester. Well, we literally walked out of the old town and the street that we walked up before was all closed. <laughs> so we're going back out into the new town, see if anything is open down there. <laughs> so and this is a vending machine where you can buy a veggie kebab, burgers, paninis. How mental is that? <laughs> Coffee. And the coffee one, 
The usual drinks. You buy condoms in this one. Sweets, crisps. Condoms. And sex toys. And some love balls. <laughs> Can I have a, can I have a, 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 a box of love balls and a seven up, please? <laughs> That's a weird night. <laughs> and a burger. <laughs> <laughs> on the road early this morning driving through the fog and the sunrise um, leaving Casamez is that what it's called? Casamez um, I actually really liked it it was good, it was a nice sight nice sight, um, city is beautiful so yeah we are head, well we were going to head for Don Sebastian and so we popped it into our sat nav and it was telling us it was 7 hours and 23 minutes which with stops and our limited um, speed because you can only do 90 kilometers in over something three and over three and a half ton and there's been loads of coppers on the road this morning so we're not speeding um, yeah not that we condone that not that we condone that <laughs> um, we would we wouldn't get there till really late on tonight and from what we've seen airs tend to fill up quite late on don't they Early on, afternoon. Well, yeah, early on. By, by the time you get there later, there's no spaces generally. Um, so we've um, changed plans a little bit, headed for Salabanca onto a site because it's going to be freezing there today, isn't it? Minus something. Minus, minus something. Minus two. It's minus two. Minus two. That's what it was at Casares last night, and it wasn't too bad. Um, so yeah, we're gonna and there's gonna be limited solar because it's cloudy as well today. So we're going to a site, gonna plug in. We can leave the heating on. Um, apparently, this site you can get the bus into Salamanca, so that's what we're gonna do. But I'm gonna put all that in the next vlog. Um, as if we end up there. As if we end up there because I've not booked anything. We're just gonna pop in and see if the little stay. <laughs> Yeah, you're planning the world and we might not even get on yet, yeah? might not even be there. We'll see. Um, I've got another one planned, if that doesn't work out, that's another I'll leave by, uh, couple, six couple of hours drive, I know. It's so hard to plan. Um, and, you know, I know some people mention it, but some don't. And, yeah, it's difficult because you'd, I plan it of an evening on my phone, on Google Maps, and then I forget that that has got our weight, our size, our speed takes us down different roads because obviously we can't get down roads on Google Maps um, because that's set for a car um, it's difficult welcome to the real world yeah mister oh yeah it'll be fine <laughs> um, and then I popped it in the sat lab this morning in 7 hours 23 minutes and I was like well we're going to have to stop that's an hour, an hour and a half on no, two, 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 two hours. hours on top of Google Maps. Um, but obviously, you can do 120 kilometres in a car, and we can only do 90. And it probably is taking us a different route. I don't Which know. Which, in mathematical terms, is 56 miles an hour for us, 80 for everyone else. Exactly. So, yes, a lot longer. Uh, but yeah, Casares is beautiful. I would recommend that you go. The, that site that we were on, ideal. Um, what would you say? 20 minute bus ride? It seemed to be very popular with the uh, British there, didn't it? I said that, yeah, there's lots of Brits there. So it must be, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of people either coming from the ferry at Santander, they're heading into Portugal, or people coming back up. Yeah, yeah I reckon so. It's uh, a midway point. I reckon, yeah, it's a midway point going down towards Portugal, and the Algarve is probably the warmest place at this time of year. Um, we left just as it was heating up, unfortunately, but you got to go back when you got to go back. Won't be going back this early next year, that's for sure. No, we won't. <laughs> we'll go back till March. Well, our site won us the end of Feb, so, you know, we've got stuff we've got to sort before then, so 
needs must got to earn some more pennies. Yep, pay for all that bread and food you've eaten. Cost me a fortune, you know. And all the diesel and e cig stuff. Speaking of which, she's running out again, doing my head in. <laughs> what? I didn't just buy enough last time. Because I'll only get moaned out of the cost then, you'd be like, nee, 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 nee. I'd rather, my I'd rather have the bloody cost to keep trying to find e cig shops in the middle of nowhere. I'm, I'm alright for now, we'll need some later, but we'll worry about that then. When you start going mental and shouting at me. No, I won't shout at you. Don't never shout at you. It's hot rubbish. <laughs> so We'll leave this one here while we're having a bit of a ding dong. <laughs> and um, we'll see you in the next one. So, thanks very much for watching, everybody. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And give Stephen an angry face or a thumbs down on the comments because he's being a knob. We'll see you in the next one. See you later. Bye. Bye.